Hey guys, it's Helena. So today I wanted to take you on my journey to PreCycle, which is New York's really first waste-free, uh, package-free grocery store slash bulk food, like produce shop. Uh, and it's located in Bushwick. It's super exciting because, you know, New York doesn't really have a lot of zero waste specific grocery stores. Um, so I was really excited to see what it was like and it just opened uh, about a little under a year ago. So I decided that I could finally um, see what it was like myself and see what I could find there. So took the subway to Jefferson Street to check out PreCycle. So yeah, super excited. We made it. So when you walk in the store, there's a big wall filled with uh, legumes, beans, and rice. There's also this section of oils, um, canola oil, sunflower oil, and you can just bring your own bottle or they have bottles for you to refill. There's a lot of fresh veggies um, and some fruit. And over here is like the refrigerated section with more veggies, you have tomatoes, eggplants. They also had some pasta options, some penne, some whole wheat. So I just took my produce bag and was refilling it and filling it up to however much. And this is great because I eat a lot of pasta and it's just like a very easy, um, you know, quick meal to make. They have little weighing stations and you can just put your container on there and write down the weight. They also had loose leaf tea options and they also have different soaps like hand soap, body soap, dish soap. There's also a lot of bulk flour options, whole wheat flour, almond flour for baking or anything you want to make. They also have all these spices and I think that's really amazing for cooking and another weighing station. So just to show you what I got, I got some bulk pasta and I had to check with them if it was vegan or not. Uh, so it's not marked inside the store. So I'd say you can ask the workers or maybe they will start adding, you know, vegan, si uh, vegan labels or ingredients to the bulk bins. And I put this in my reusable bag. And for the soap, this container, which is like a little takeout container size, was $7.25, which I feel like, I'm not sure if that might be a little expensive for this amount of soap, but it can be used for your body, like hand soap, body soap, or cleaning. So I want to see how long this would last for. Um, but typically I looked up that body wash, you know, when you buy body wash, it can also be around $7. I think it depends where you go, it could probably also be cheaper. So this is just a bell pepper and organic cucumber, plum, and the organic bananas were on sale probably because they're already spotting and all of their produce is, you know, local and fair trade. I also got this smaller reusable organic cotton bag, which I think will be good for snacks because I'm always hungry and like wanting to get a snack on the go. So I feel like this is a perfect size for that. And I also think you could make it yourself. So that was my little haul. And in total, it cost $23.36. I think the most expensive thing was probably the soap and this bag. I mean the food items I feel like are reasonably priced. So just to recap, I feel like the store is really amazing that it gives people options to find alternatives to cleaning supplies and you know like household um, items that you know always come in packaging and plastic packaging however i do think that a lot of the vegetables you can find in regular grocery stores as well like whole foods trader joe's um 
West Side Market or like the farmer's market. Overall, it was just really awesome that it was all condensed into one place. You know, it's, it's often times some stores only have certain bulk food sections. And in terms of price, I didn't think it was completely unreasonable. I feel like I got a decent amount of pasta for a good price and the vegetables I feel like pretty standard price if you were to shop at like Whole Foods. However, I do think Trader Joe's is a little cheaper overall depending on where you live. Like it's not always going to be the easiest option to get to Precycle, which is in Bushwick. But um, again, I just think it's awesome that it is an option for people that want to make the way out there or live nearby. Thanks so much for watching and hope you have a great day. Bye!